Okay, so the only subatomic particle left that we have to find is the number of neutrons. We look at the other number listed on the block of the periodic table. The big number we call the mass number. So the definition of the mass number is the number of protons and neutrons contained in the nucleus. The key note, which comes from Rutherford's Gold Full Experiment, we found that most of the mass of the atom is contained in the nucleus. Therefore, if I can find the protons and electrons by the atomic number, then I must use the mass number for the number of neutrons. If the formula for the mass number is the count of protons and neutrons in the nucleus, if I can find the number of protons by the atomic number, and the mass number is always given, then I would find the number of neutrons by taking the mass number minus the atomic number, the mass number minus the number of protons. In more simpler terms, I take the big minus small. The big minus small. So let's apply this. Calculate the number of protons, electrons, and neutrons for the following atoms. Keyword atoms, what's that mean? Electrons and who are equal? Protons, thank you, Jerry. All right, so we have BE. BE has two numbers here. BE has a four and a nine. A four and a nine, you see that? Okay, and so uh, we're gonna say if it has a four and a nine, then the number of protons is a small number, four. Since it is an atom, the number of electrons is also four, because atoms are neutral. And so for the number of neutrons, which is what we're looking at here, I take the big number, what was the big number? Go to the first decimal, 9.0. And I'm going to subtract out the number of protons. Counting subatomic particles, we're an atom. Protons four, electrons four, neutrons five. Okay? All right, let's do NE. NE has two numbers, 10 and 20.2. 10 and 20.2. And so the number of protons is the smaller number, 10. The number of electrons would be the same, since it is a neutral atom. And the number of neutrons would be the big number, 20.2, minus the number of protons, 10, which gives me 10.2. Uh oh, wait a minute. We cannot have a 0.2 neutron. So we round that to 10 neutrons. Student question, Coach Gamis said, does it make a lot of sense? You cannot have a 0.2 neutron. The masses, the mass number on the periodic table is a weighted average, it's not an exact count. You have several different forms of each element in nature. We find a weighted average, and that's why you have the decimal. So round down or round up, according to your rounding rules on the first decimal.